a few times with different projects and things like that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I got Mr. Blair Gilly in the house. What's up, dude? How are you? Yeah. Doing great, doing great. I'm glad that you uh, took a little time to come out on uh, such a crummy night as well. <laughs> it's a beautiful <laughs> night outside. <laughs> <laughs> and got a little lost doing it, huh? Uh, yeah, got lost coming to a place that I've been to several times. But feels good, good, huh? Just <laughs> blaming on the rain, right? Oh, I can't believe I just said that either. Um, okay. Just fall, we, fall. <laughs> we can go the whole one if you good, want to. <laughs> so, dude, what's what's been going on? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to give a little back history for you. Uh, if you are not familiar with Blair, and uh, he's done a few different projects here in Nashville, but he was in a pretty serious uh, band called Flight Case for Sushi. We still play it on this show every now and then. Um, I was a fan a while back. Uh, just kind of catch us up, bro. What's been going on with you? Yeah, man. Well, since Flight Case, which was, I don't know, maybe three, two, three years ago, um, that whole thing ended, and then I kind of was like in a crazy spot uh, trying to figure out what to do. Uh, had some crazy things happen in my personal life, and kind of both those things combined uh, led me back to just writing music, writing music for myself, right. music that I wanted to hear with no marketing plan, no game plan, no agenda, just music that I love. Just getting back uh, to basics. Just getting back to basics, and, and I started writing on acoustic, and then I said, you know, I was a guitar player in Flight Case. Right. Um, so with all this stuff, I was, you know, writing, recording, arranging, singing. And I said, well, you know, I did this stuff. Let me record two songs. If it's any good, I'll record two more. So I did that. I kept on going. I got six, you know, decided to do an EP. And then I got the bug to do the whole thing all over again. <laughs> um, you know, so now I'm in the midst of doing that. Um, I'm, I have a six-song EP out called About Home. Okay. Uh, releasing another EP uh, this Tuesday called Moore's Lane, and that's simply just a three-song EP. Okay. And we kind of live in this world now where, you know, albums don't really exist Fast food much. records? Yes. <laughs> so, you know, you just keep on putting out material, and with, with iTunes and all that kind of stuff, sure. it just kind of keeps people... Uh, keep their appetites fed, I guess. Absolutely. Very cool. Um, where are you doing most of the recording? Um, well, I started out uh, with my buddy Tommy Dickinson, who actually okay. did the Flight Case record. Right on. Uh, and we do most everything together. Um, but we took a little break, and I've since uh, bought like an Apogee duet and a bunch of recording equipment <laughs> for all you people out there that don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and so now we're Stuff. trying to... Now we're tracking a lot at home, and then I'll probably give it all to Tommy. And I've uh, okay. been talking to some other producers, too. Uh, so so it really is a, from, like a ground zero organic thing for you to get back with this? Absolutely. Uh, in fact, when I got in the studio with Tommy, um, you know, Flight Case was uh, a collaboration between me and Dax McCall. And, uh, we Dax kinda, is a good dude. Yes. <laughs> it, you know, we kind of he, he did most of the writing, but we'd work off each other. And, and my joke when I started this was... I was in the studio with Tommy, and in Flight Case or any of the other bands I was in, I would look to my right, I'd look to the left, and be like, "Well, what do you think we should do? Well, you know, what do you think we should do?" Uh, it was just me and Tommy, and, and so it was kind of a different experience for me, um, you know, kind of making a lot of the decisions and just having that artistic freedom I've never had because I was always one fourth or you know a piece sure, of the puzzle. Sure, this is you. This, this is, is completely yeah, Blair, right? Yeah, so. Well, man, I you know I can really tell that it, that's that's going on. I, I told you as uh, we spoke off air and on the phone and things like that. But um, this first song that we're gonna play, "What You Do to Yourself," man, I I listened to it and it immediately grabbed me because there's it's there's first of all you're gonna hear the song in a minute, Lo Local Buzz Nation. But to to Blair, I mean I you know. It's a great song, and it's catchy and all that kind of good stuff, but there, you can tell when something's real. You know what I mean? Especially in this day and age, like we were talking about that fast food record industry. Yep. You can tell when something's like really real, and it, it's just uh, from the heart and well put together and, and just a good, solid song. And I want you to know that from, from me personally on, on the air. So um, we're going to debut this song. It's never been played on the air before, um, to my knowledge. Uh, no, this will be the first. Okay, right on. Um, well, just let's go ahead and get to it. The song's called "What You Do, What You Do to Yourself." Give us a little background because we were talking about it before you blowing you away that you're even in here talking about this song. Yeah, the the cool thing about you know once again doing my own stuff after a band that had a record deal, the marketing plan, agenda, demographics, numbers, all that silly stuff that we got caught up in uh, when I started to do my own stuff it had nothing to do with that so I wrote the song about a friend of mine from a long time ago and, and the song comes from a very 
personal place, but I wanted to release the video in the song simply because I like it and uh, I'm in love with the time period of the 50s and 60s, sure. which, which when you all hear the song, uh, it, it kind of touches on that era. And not even a single, it's just something that I wanted to do. I wanted to make a video for this song and get to play that uh, Marty McFly kind of character. Or, you know what I mean? <laughs> right on, yeah. Uh, and recreate all that stuff. So, you know, that's that's why we did the video for it, which you all can check out on YouTube. Right on. Um, and yeah, it just kind of came from that place of, I want to do this. Awesome. Well, let's do this then right now. <laughs> How about that? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I got uh, Mr. Blair here in the house with us, hanging out for a little while. You got time to stick around, right? Absolutely. Okay, we're going to play a, a couple more songs from Blair uh, and his solo project. But first, let's get to that song we've been talking about, What You Do to Yourself. I really hope you enjoy this song, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Blair, you still there? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So we were talking about that last song, "What You Do to Yourself." Um, is that on? Is that? Are you including that on this three-song EP? No, that's on my last EP. Okay. Uh, which was released last year. Okay. Right on. And you just did the video for that song. I just right? did the video for that song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying so to get everything straight. Still, for still promoting the other EP. Right. But like I said, in this this new demographic of just putting music out there constantly. Uh, I want to release the new music next week before Christmas and then follow it up with a video from that and yeah. just keep on going. Right. Right on. Right on. Um, so what what's immediate next? Are you going to start doing some shows? or? Yeah. Um, probably in the new year. Uh, okay. The guys that I've been playing with. I, I play full time with another band uh, called the Johnny T Band. Okay. An artist named Johnny T. And we stay pretty busy about four to five nights a week every week. Um, so out, out of town, or are you both in okay. town? You know, a night or two in town, and then you know Thursday, the typical Thursday come back Sunday right. runs um, every week. So it takes up a lot of time. Um, but you know, a few things with our schedule are changing next year, and uh, definitely gonna get the band uh, out and then do some live shows and just kind of kind of keep building it. Just kind of a, cool. a grassroots thing. Well, I will be at the show whenever you get that going. There you so. go. <laughs> um, let's let everybody know where they can find your music uh, again online. Uh, most all the online uh, outlets, but you know, especially iTunes, uh, Google, Amazon, just any anywhere that sells music online now, it's available. Okay, and it's Blair Jilly. So if you need to find him, uh, obviously we'll have all of the, this information posted on the Local Buzz Facebook page. So if you need to know where to find him, that'll be an easy way to do it. Um, this next one is the title track from the new EP coming out Tuesday, correct? Correct. correct. Okay, Moore's Lane. And I'm guessing Moore's Lane Cool Springs? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the significance? Um, the significance is the song was going through my head when I was driving down Moore's Lane, and it just started. <laughs> the, the lyrics started with one night uh, out on Moore's Lane, and I kind of built the song around I was just, I was in this weird moment about a weird situation in my life I was looking around and literally as I was driving uh, wrote the song really yeah <laughs> that's incredible awesome well dude I want to say thank you for coming out and taking some time especially in this weather and all that good stuff I really appreciate you stopping by uh, the music you're doing is cool keep it up and uh, whatever we can do from this side of things let us know uh, especially if new, when new stuff happens and all that let me know we'll post it for you and, and keep all the listeners uh, informed okay Definitely, man. thanks for having me so thanks a bunch thanks here's for catching up oh absolutely <laughs> from back in the day <laughs> absolutely uh, yeah Blair and I actually shared the stage a few times together with our old bands but uh here's the new stuff moore's lane uh off the new ep self-titled moore's lane coming up on tuesday make sure you get it <laughs> 